This is the story of how courageous prayers of the prophet Elijah led the people back to God. Elijah had the courage to pray some pretty crazy prayers because Elijah believed God would keep his promises. God sent the king away. Elijah should have been afraid, but took a stand anyway. God made a promise to him. Elijah dared to believe it and he knew he would see it. God said, I'll make, make it rain. rain. Elijah had the courage to pray, so Elijah saw God that day. Jump back three years ago, Elijah walked up to King Ahab's throne. Elijah's words were bold. He said, it's not going to rain till I say so. So the land got crusty and dry. But God sent Elijah fruit from the sky. King Ahab tried to track him down, but Elijah was nowhere to be found. When three years rolled around, God sent Elijah back to old Ahab's town. You come to bring trouble now? I challenge y'all to a big showdown. Ahab and Queen Jezebel and the wicked priests of the false god Baal and all the people of Israel met Elijah on top of Mount Carmel. God sent the king away. Elijah should have been afraid, but took a stand anyway. God made a promise to him. Elijah dared to believe it, and he knew he would see it. God said, I'll make it rain. Elijah had the courage to pray, so Elijah saw God that day. First was Baal's team's turn, they got their sacrifice all set to burn Then prayed and begged and yearned, but no fire came, they had a lesson to learn They danced and cried all day, no matter what they tried, it didn't work anyway No fire was come today, there is no Baal, he couldn't hear them pray Elijah made the call with twelve stones and wood, his altar stood tall But then he did something odd, he wanted to make sure people knew it was God He called some servants out, had them bring four giant water jugs out Because there was a drought, he had them soak the wood and there was no doubt Elijah prayed that God would be known as the one true God, and God answered Elijah said, King, listen now, far away I hear a rainy day kind of sound. Elijah bowed low on the ground and prayed to God to send the rainstorm down. Elijah sent a friend to spy, but no rain clouds were in the sky. He prayed and looked seven times, till one tiny cloud came rolling by. God sent the king away, Elijah should have been afraid, but took a stand anyway. God made a promise to him, Elijah dared to believe it, and he knew he would see it. God said, I'll make it rain. Elijah had the courage to pray, so Elijah saw God that day. Elijah saw God that day, so Elijah saw God that day. There's a great ending to a great story, but God wants you and me to pray courageously like that because we can count on God's promises. He makes them and never breaks them.